This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Let's go. I'm right here, I'm on that. Y'all, I just re-dyed my hair earlier today. It looks so good. I used Lunar Tides for the first time and look at my hand. Didn't even dye it one bit. It did kind of look like a crime scene in the shower, but it is fully clean in there. So I'm so surprised, but you can't tell what time it is, but it's currently 5.20 p.m. And I'm gonna go out thrifting, but I'm going to a new thrift store. Okay, it's not a new thrift store. We're going to Savers, but they invited me to their new location. And I'm so excited. They just told us to drop by at seven o'clock, which is so late in the day, but I'm not totally sure if they're just gonna let us shop all alone in the thrift store or whether it's already open to the public, but I guess we'll just find out when we get there. Y'all see how much traffic there is? This is wild. We've already been driving for like, what, over 30 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 40 minutes? And we still have a whole 20 minutes until we get there. It is so freaking dark, but an hour later, we're finally here. So it actually isn't open to the public yet. I thought it might be, but it says grand opening December 14th. We will see you soon. Oh, it looks like there's so much clothes in there. It's a huge location. Oh, I'm so stoked. Look at the shoes. Everything is so organized. Okay, well, we still have like a good, 30 minutes, so I guess we're just gonna chill until they open up. There she is, y'all. 10 more minutes and we can finally go in. And then we just noticed there's a red robin right across the street. So we're probably gonna have that afterwards. But I mean, it's in a pretty awesome location. On that side, we have Hobby Lobby. On this side, we have Joanne. So we just finished shopping there. But we still have so much time to kill. Oh, Arthur's here too, by the way. <laughs> so I guess we'll just film some TikToks. Guys, I think they invited like a whole bunch of content creators and TikTokers because there's other people showing up now. I feel like I should probably go say hi, but I'm just so socially awkward. Y'all, the way that there's so many content creators out here, but we got our cart, we're headed straight to the skirt section. What in the world? I'm already seeing something so freaking cute. Stop it, stop it. Look at this, this is so freaking sexy. Their lingerie section is freaking killing. Look at this, with the embellishments. Let's see what brand, oh, it's Charlotte Russe, come on. Okay, but I already have plenty of black corsets, so I'm gonna continue on looking. If I can just find like basic slips, I'll be more than happy with that, just cause you guys know I'm always printing on them. Literally all our internet friends are here. <laughs> What are you doing here? I know. <laughs> okay, I came across this slip. Guys, imagine this with some lace, some bunny slapped on here. Yes, we're gonna put her into the cart. I'm gonna need some self-control because look at this bustier. It's pink, black, one of my favorite color combos. It is a brand Sophie B. Oh my God, I think it was originally from TJ Maxx, <laughs> but tags are still attached, so that means it hasn't been worn yet, but that's really cute. Imagine with fishnets, leg warmers and my new rocks, hell yeah. The way they have so much black and pink and it has an open vent, come on. I don't know what, oh, it's Victoria's Secret. I've never seen that tag before. She does look a little tiny, but I'm pretty sure my cup should fit in here. Karina just found this Penny Lane jacket. She said, run to the coat. So run I am to running to the coat. <laughs> Let's see what there is. I would love a new Penny Lane. I have one right now that's a size medium and it's also, Look who else is here, Alexa, say hi. <laughs> so let's see, a colorful penny lane would be freaking amazing. This is the closest I've gotten to a penny lane coat. It looks like it might be an Asian brand. I love this orange color. I just don't think this style is the cutest. So we're gonna put her back. And if I'm still thinking about her, we'll pick her up. Let's take a quick little break from thrifting to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. They empower individuals to create an online web presence, but also launch their passion projects. So my passion projects as of late has been upcycling ties, my rework lingerie, and my mystery bundles. And all thanks to Squarespace, I have my own website, twinl.com, where I can sell all of these items. With Squarespace, you can sell digital items, physical items, and even a service, and they make it super easy with all the tools they offer. So the first one is e-commerce templates. They have a library full of different website layouts to 
choose from and all you got to do is customize it to your liking the second tool they offer is inventory management so if you're someone like me who has a lot of tangible items so I have ties laying around laundry around just a ton of inventory where space will manage it all keep you organized by sending you notifications anytime something is low in stock or completely out of stock another tool they offer is a built-in mobile website so all the templates that we were looking at earlier those all have a unique mobile experience so this just means that your website is going to be accessible on a desktop an iPad and even your phone there is a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com but when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash twinnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinnell but a huge thank you to squarespace for sponsoring today's video let's get back to thrifting the amount of rose print that we're coming across oh it's too good the skirt section is wild i'm just finding gem after gem and for the first time in a long time oh this is super cute like a cute little a little ruched white skirt only this waist looks super tiny but for the first time in a really long time i'm finally coming across some 90s y2k tag so it's really exciting like this scout scout usa it has a paper tag which i'm pretty sure it's going to be made in usa too there we go yes look at her she's purple corduroy mini and has a lace up front arthur's only ever looking for one thing one at thing their stores and that's crt televisions and they have one here how much is it though 34 99 that's actually not, not bad. that bad their display over there looks really really nice and electronic so i don't want to mess it up so I'm gonna see if they'll allow me to take it or not. Found a PS2 and another one right there too. Sheesh, even a microphone. They have a ton of gaming stuff at the bottom of here. Look at that, we have an Xbox 360. We have two Xbox 360 Elites. And what is that? I think that's a Wii U as well. The prices aren't bad. Like this one is $20. This one is $40. Um, how much is these? Uh, well, these ones don't say, but oh, the Wii U's. $50. See, that's pretty cheap. If you're into sewing or you want to get into sewing, this place has a good amount of sewing machines, especially that one. That one's a really good one. That's the one Dan uses currently. So you guys all know I love collecting VHS tapes. Well, look at this huge collection right here. We have a couple Star Wars trilogy ones. We got Wizard of Oz over here, Grease. We have all kinds of Disney ones. I'm not a huge fan of these clamshell cases, so I'll go ahead and skip those, but right below it, we have some bangers, we have Big Daddy, we have Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Inspector Gadget. Right next to the VHS tapes, they also have a ton of loose manga. We have Van Von Hunter, we have some Dragon Ball, this whole, what is this, Vampire Games one as well. We got some Bleach, Tokyo Pop, even Naruto. So if you're looking for some manga, some loose ones, you can't find the whole collections here, but I definitely recommend checking this out. He's so happy, look at him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Pyramid collection made in USA. <gasps> this is giving vampy dark. Look at these sleeves and the rosette details with the satin bows. Come on. I think it might be missing. I don't know. It kind of almost looks like there should be a lace up detail here on the front. Oh, maybe not because it has the lace up detail on the back. So if you fit into an extra large, this will be here waiting for you. I hope that you guys can see the vision with this. I know this is screaming granny, but y'all know me. We got to make it a little bit more alternative. So of course, some demonias, even new rocks, and maybe some sort of black leather harness to really cinch in our waist. But I feel like this is going to be a maybe. I've never been one to like cookie jars, but maybe I just might. Look at this cat, this dog, but this bear especially. So freaking cute. I was trying to find Arthur and he's out here in the manga section. First thing I see is Vampire Night for only $2.99. That's, that's actually, bad, right? yep. yeah, that's, that's so good. Bad. For some like art inspo, that would be pretty awesome. Oh, I think yeah, I want like, this. <gasps> Meow meow? Meow meow? Mew meow? Mew meow a la mode. Wait, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. I think I'm gonna take this one. The way I loved Kaname for so long. Something about brunette men. Mm -mm -mm. Look at what Arthur just found. You know, he just gave me the idea that I should use eyelets and then tie them onto my ties that I upcycle. So that's gonna be freaking cute. And for only $4.50, 
that's not a bad price and we're gonna get four of them. I feel pretty checked out now. I was, I feel like I'm off my high now, but let's do a little outfit of the day. Okay, the skirt's a little wrinkly, but she's out of my own inventory. Some fishnets, new rocks and leg warmers. And then we have just like a classic button up, but really, the star of the outfit is this upcycled tie that I did myself. So if I do still have a few available, they're on my website, twinnell.com. And then we have one of my favorite Goodwill bins finds. It's just this zip up skeleton hoodie. As they were talking over there, I glanced across the racks. Look at this Jenko jersey. Come on. This is so good. And then it says Jeans USA. I'm really not that into green, but this color combo, I'm really liking. Only thing, this one is 120, and it's actually off limits to us content creators, so whoever wants this, you better be lining up. Oh my god, it gets even better in the back. Oh, so awesome. Damage has been done, but it's not only mine. Arthur found a crap ton of stuff too. So we're gonna go hide away in a little corner and then actually figure out what we want and then whatever we don't want, we're just gonna run it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six rejects of the day. Most of them are skirts, but I'm gonna put back this little corset just because I think it's a little too elegant and it's so structured. Like it is bone throughout, but you can barely bend in it. And this one kind of kills me to leave behind because I really love it. I think it's perfect for fall. It's just that the waist is so tiny and I have 38 inch hips, so they are not gonna fit in here whatsoever. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. This is just way too busy. Not really my style, but I think it might be vintage. Todd time. If you're familiar with that brand, let me know down below in the comments, but I mean, it is pretty cool and I can see the potential. I just don't think it's me. These next two skirts are pretty similar just because they're both dark wash denim and have this like very crossy crisscross stitching to them. But like, look at this, that's pretty cool. I just, I already have something so similar to this in my closet already that I don't need any more. And then I'm loving this tag, only jeans. Something with like a lot more tears and ruffles, but don't really need that. Very similar to this other one here, just a shorter length. Ultimately, this just isn't my style and I don't like the fabric. It's just very lightweight and almost sheer. So I think we're just gonna leave it behind. I'm gonna go run these back and then catch up with Arthur. We were gonna show this one off and then Arthur broke the damn zipper pull on it. So just a reminder, if you're gonna be shopping accessories, make sure you test those zippers. But this one is pretty awesome. It has a camo print and then the snake embossed leather straps and silver hardware. I love the juxtaposition of the colors. Ooh. You like this one? Yeah, that one's freaking adorable. The zipper's a little locked, do the you know, right after there? you breaking that one, oh my God, wait, it's that's so angels. cute. Angels. I think we'll pass on accessories <laughs> altogether. Ooh, I am a little tempted to take this one, although I will admit, I have no idea where this scene is from. <gasps> Look at the silver hardware. It's in shape of freaking hearts. Oh my goodness, and it's only 10.99. Okay, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up. Savers really threw a whole bunch of content creators into an empty thrift store and it was so much freaking fun. It was honestly kind of wild just to see everyone whip out their cameras and phones and just make content, but it was super motivational. Also, it was just like a race to find all the good shit, but I love my haul today. But a huge thank you to Savers for even considering me to come by the shop. It was so nice to connect with the other content creators and chat it up with the workers. Overall, awesome experience. But let's get started with this haul because it's so good. Okay, we're gonna start off with my favorite. It was in the toy section. I got some calico critters and for under five dollars. Earlier this month, I went to Solving, I think that's how you pronounce it, in like Santa Barbara area. We went into a toy store and I saw this family of four bunnies, but I think the price was around like 20, 30 dollars and I was just like, I know I could thrift it. Anytime I find something that I like, I always give myself around like three to four months because I just know I can thrift it. And it happened. Browsing the men's tie section is an absolute must now. And so I came across this pink striped one. It's the brand Claiborne. I'm pretty, oh yeah, this is just a tag. It's literally brand new with tag still. I picked it up for four bucks and this is where I'm going with it. We're gonna put these calico critters right on it. And I think I'm gonna keep it very pink, very girly and coquette. Most of this haul is literally lingerie. So take this as a sign that if you're in the SoCal area, go to the Savers location. So we're gonna start off with this pink and black bustier. Look at this. Oh, it's 
so good. I'm just hoping the cups fit me. But I think, look, this was actually from TJ Maxx. And I don't know how much it was retailing for because it was cut off. And it's a size medium. But look at that pink satin, the black trimming. Oh, it's so good. And I couldn't believe that I came across this lilac piece. So, okay, I know I always am saying that I'm not into purple. But I can do the pastel. I think that's very pretty. This was $8.99 but worth every single penny. Because I literally already own this but in a burgundy color. So I usually wear it around this season. Very fall, winter vibe. And this is gonna be perfect for spring and summer. I have no words. Look at how perfect this is. And it's on a paper tag, made in USA. It's the brand Tag 1080. I've never heard of that brand before. This top has a lot of stretch to it, but I kind of like that just because it makes it a lot more comfy. And then we have the lace up detail right on the front and the cups are pretty padded. So you don't have to worry about wearing a bra underneath, but this one I'm obsessed with. I hope it looks just as good on the body. Oh, also I forgot to mention, I'm going to be auctioning off this clothes on whatnot, the 28th of this month. So this is a piece where I'm just like, do I keep it for myself or do I auction it? I've never seen a petticoat like this before. And it's really just the hem because it's tiered and it kind of reminds me of bloomers. So imagine if I am able to find some red bloomers and do like a monochromatic fit with this. Hopefully you're not too tired of red, but look at this slip dress. This is probably one of the prettiest I've ever picked up. And I just especially love the little rosette detail with the beaded fringe. Freaking adorable. But can someone tell me why so many slip dresses like this have stupid long shorts? Shoulder straps like I literally have to tie it like this just so that it stays on properly otherwise boobies nips are totally exposed I saw the black and red the roses it was an absolute no-brainer I had to take this home with me it's labeled a size large but this looks pretty small it, it looks like it runs small for sure but it's on a paper tag made in USA but this just screams 90s dark romantic but this location really is a gold mine of a lot of like authentic vintage 90s Y2K pieces I always wanted to thrift this type of like ruched skirt before so I have two of them I have a red one that I bought off of Depop and then I have a brown one that I got from a mystery bundle and now I've come across a black one and it's so cool. The only thing though is that it's labeled a size small so I thought it would fit me but I'm not sure if you could tell but this waist is tiny. I think this probably measures at like 22, 25 waist and it barely has any stretch so I know for sure this isn't gonna go over my hips so I'll try over my shoulders. Y'all aren't ready for this last piece. I got a cardigan. It's actually pretty cool in Los Angeles, so I'll wear this for sure. But when I saw all the layers, the textures, I was just like, yes, in the cart right now. And I also picked up a gray one, but the gray one I included into a mystery bundle. I had 14 mystery bundles drop yesterday. And so I included the gray one in like a dark fairy aesthetic bundle. If you are really into this cardigan, I have a whole bunch of these that are brand new with tags and a whole bunch of colors. And I'll make them available on my next Whatnot live stream and on my website. That pretty much does it for shopping at Savers with a whole bunch of other content creators. So the Savers is a new location. They're located in Lakewood. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, I'll have the address down below but their grand opening was December 14th so it's been about a full week now so if you do end up going let me know if they're keeping up with the inventory and if any of you guys picked up that Jinko jersey tag me I want to see how you style it otherwise if it's still there also let me know because I will come grab it but don't forget there is a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com and then when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash Chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinnell but as always y'all I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!